two discus, two rotational shot, two glide, submission Saturday. Here we go, check it out. Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson. Welcome to Submit Saturday. We are going through two discus, two glide, and two rotational shot. I'm not necessarily in that order. One of the things that's important to do is each week, we're gonna to try to make this a little bit different so that you're learning how things work and you're looking at these video analysis, not just me sitting there talking about people and what they're doing and drawing all over, but we wanna have a kind of a different focus. This week, it's gonna be fast. We're gonna go through, identify quick things. The throw's quick, we wanna train you to see certain things, and that's the emphasis. So sometimes you're going to be looking at rhythm. Sometimes you're going to be looking at the path of left arm. Sometimes you'll be looking at what's going on with the sweep leg, the entry. Are you looking at pillar one, two, three, four, five, or six? That's the whole point of the throwing chain reaction system. We're always trying to teach you how to see it, understand it. Today we're going to dive in and we're just going to be looking at identifying the quick problems and then we're going to move on to the next guy so that we're not going super long like we did last week. Before we dive in, be sure to like, hit that subscribe button, share this video, and be sure if you want more in-depth coaching information, you want to learn how the throw works, Works, check out our link below to look at the throwing chain reaction system. Here we go. First up on today's video is Isaac. Isaac was our first video submission. So if you're first, you're always getting your video in first on the analysis. One quick note that we wanted to make it was congrats to Isaac and his coach. He switched to the rotational shot during quarantine. We didn't find that out until after we did the quick analysis and he's improved three meters plus about 10 feet. That's fantastic. So congrats to Isaac and coach. So again, a couple of things. When you guys are setting up your film, you want to shoot from the back like shooting on if you're throwing that way shoot this way or shoot from your left side if you're a right-handed thrower you're gonna be able to see more of the throw develop so there's some critical things we can't see from this angle so we're gonna do our best uh, number two is when you comes here he comes down this shift he's got a little bit of a shift and that's gonna cause a little bit of, of feels like a fall as he comes to his pillar two and one of the reasons that you're gonna notice this arm open and you're gonna notice this foot and this toe goes down so when it goes down, he's gonna kick and then he's gonna stretch across. So instead of being round and across this way, pillar three to four, he's stretching and it's gonna kind of cause this jerky J motion. And then what's gonna happen is you're gonna see this and then you're gonna see kind of the corresponding movement of the left. You see how it's not swinging open into the position. He's called, we call that the stab. You don't wanna stab the foot down. You wanna open it down to set that axis so you're gonna rotate faster. That said, he does do a nice job of rotating. He's got a pretty good angle, but that arm again, cause it was a little ahead. You see how the shoulder's back, pretty good angle right here, but look at how much he's off the ground. Now he's off the ground, still pushing. And that ball now, science says it's gonna push back unless you're a giant monster. And even those guys are on the ground a lot longer. So what we're gonna do is watch that left arm it's coming back a little too much so he's pulling back and away from the throw and that's what we want to avoid so again Isaac hopefully that helps on to our next video all right thrower number two we have Nick Kenora he attended our summer virtual camp he's PR'd over three feet since he started he switched to the rotational shot from the glide he's PR'd three feet since really good so here's what we're gonna look at um, in pillar one he, he learned in the camp how to get himself set up I like the setup, he's doing some good stuff. And then right here he comes around, but what you're gonna notice is that Nick is opening the upper body with the arm. So right here, he's gonna wind up that shortening the path. He needs to take the path and open the arm longer around. And so what you see as he comes across, he's going to go head down. So this is our pillar three, four, sweep position where we axis transition to the middle. Nick's eyes are down. That's gonna change how his hips move under him. If his head's up, his hips are more under him. And so then, it, when he does, because of that head down, opening the upper body, he lands flat. When you land flat, you're gonna shift. He's got a good movement, but because he's shifting the upper body, because it opened earlier, it's opening at the end. He's coming through and then he's got not a bad position. There's gonna be a lot more to work on. This is gonna get a lot better, but you gotta watch that opening and that's why he's coming off. Again, watch the eye position. He comes around, lands clean, eyes go down, looks at the shot, that's the, that's the kiss of death, pulls him out of the ring. Next up, we have Anjan from India. Uh, okay, so you're gonna notice, again, you guys, perfect example. He's out here, he's got a rough surface. Um, 
he needs to get some throwing shoes if he can, but based on the surface, he, those shoes might be best because it looks like it's not the best surface, so a little gritty. Again, pretty solid here. I like the entry. I like this length. Uh, he's moving very nicely. Look how he's stretched. Uh, what we want to do is have him turn on the inside of the foot a little bit more. Knee starts to collapse into pillar two to three. And if you stay on the inside of the foot, that's going to help him come around a little bit more. See how he kind of pops up? That's because that foot doesn't rotate, so he gets a little bit too much of a pop up into the middle. Um, so then when we do that, opening the left a little bit longer so he wants to open that left arm a little bit when you under rotate that's going to tend to have you pull into the throw a touch and what you want to do is look um, longer path like you said of the left arm pillar two three four and now we want to do get the hips a little bit more underneath them and but he does a pretty nice job here and you're going to see he pulls that shoulder back just a tiny bit in pillar six so he's pulling away from the throw so he wants to work on that block so that he can take the discus out further next up we have enriquez from juarez sonora mexico uh submitted a video and we're going to look here he sent his video in slow-mo i definitely recommend send your videos in full speed you can see the rhythm that's really important to your throw um, it's always easier to slow it down look at it frame by frame so again what he does is you're going to notice here he opens the left arm much ahead of the left foot you want to avoid that because now he's going to stay ahead throughout the throw that being said he pulls in but what this tends to do is make a thrower sit and it makes you more rotational which you want but you got to open on the long path he's opening on a shorter path so he sits a little bit he does do a nice sprint to the middle but look there's no rewrap and that's going to cost him so when you don't rewrap he's going to again turn in place he he actively pulls but you're going to see a little bit of a pull away not bad but you see how that elbow is pulling behind him in his pillar six that's an issue he's going to lose distance that being said his finish is doing a really nice job movement's really good but a couple of those key things the lack of a rewrap and opening too soon is costing him a lot of distance his pr i believe he said was about 41 meters he can definitely add I, I guarantee you uh, uh, three to five meters really quick if he learns how to take the longer path into it. So good work and on to the next video. Next up, we've got Nick Cloud. He's a glider. Again, lots of good stuff going in the glide. Gliders, again, remember, shoot from that side angle. Even if you're filming yourself, you're going to be able to see a lot more of the throw unfold and a lot of really critical things. So second, let's see, as he comes in, one of the things I like he does, I like his setup, I like the way he loads, so again, we would call it our pillar one, where we're setting up the chain reaction pillar two, load and coil, he's getting that, that drive leg loaded up, but what you're gonna notice is as he drops, as he comes here, which I think is real good, he drives a little bit more, it's kind of hard to see with this, he looks like he comes off that heel, but he looks like he's getting a little bit of a heel push. He gets some of the toe. There's not as much extension, and I think he's kicking potentially a little high. A little tough to see on this angle, but he's doing a lot of good stuff. I really like how the eyes are back. I like how this stays back. I like how he's getting everything open. He's getting everything into a pretty solid position here, and he drives, but you're going to notice that he leaves the ground a touch early, and again, that would be where we would see what's going on a little better from that side angle. So we want to get those hips a little bit more under him. He's got a little bit more of this angle. We need that more vertical angle even in the glide. So you can keep the upper body back, but keep the hips here, shot back behind the knee, and then that's going to should help him stay on the ground a little bit more and get a little more punch. Nice block, nice extension, good angle. This is what I think is real nice. He lands up on that toe. Watch him shift to that heel so he can pull the throw back in. Very nice glide. Let's look at it in full speed real quick. He's got a nice little pop, about a 53 and a half foot PR, so good work. Hopefully those are a couple things that help you out, make you understand, and on to the next video. Okay, next up we have Johnny. Johnny's from East Asia part of the world. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna look, Johnny, again, different style. You're gonna notice that he's gonna do kind of a traditional kick the glide up this is what you're going to see kind of from some classic throwers but it's almost a little too high it pulls him off position so when he pulls that way up he gets himself out he when he pulls back in it is going to help him create some momentum but it's not necessarily as efficient you see how he's got a short push so there's no real pillar three instead of sinking down and driving off his right leg he kind of rocks in and then he loses that drive across the circle so he's not going to have as powerful of a kick and a drive leg push 
And so therefore that's gonna shift him too far forward. This is gonna cost him distance. He's losing the right leg. He's gonna be opening here and he opens a little bit more like a rotational thrower. So he's gonna be rotating in. That's gonna lose the efficiency of the glide line. When you shift in your pillar five, six, you're losing again the right side. So you're gonna throw a shorter distance. He has a nice movement, but again, you see how he's kind of piked over. And again, that's what he has to do. So what do we wanna do is look at getting him to set up and not be so up and down when he starts and be a little bit more controlled and that's one of the things we recommend is a more rhythmical controlled drop and go start this can work but you can see this isn't working for johnny so Hopefully you find that helpful, Johnny, and thanks for submitting your video. All right, everybody, so hopefully you like that. We're gonna try to mix up the video analysis each week so it feels like something different. You're not gonna just watch the same boring me going through videos. There's so many different things you wanna learn to see in your throws. That's what you do when you coach yourself or you're a coach coaching. You're gonna be looking at different things at different times. We wanna provide different perspective. Today was about pointing out some things real fast and identifying the problems. Again, we look at the cause of the problem. So if you'd like to learn more about how the throw works, how to learn it faster, how to train the right things, how to do the right drills, how to put it all together. Check out the Throwing Chain Reaction System. We have hours of information designed to help you learn fast. Remember, no matter how good the system is, you gotta do the work and you gotta apply what you learn. It's proven. We hope to see you on the inside. So thanks so much for watching today. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, share, like, and don't forget that link below in the description. See you on the next video, next Submission Saturday.